Hey, my name is Chef, and I want to talk about Captain Marvel. I really wanted Katie Sackhoff for this role, and let me explain why. When I was a kid, I was a big fan of Battlestar Galactica, Six Million Dollar Man, Buck Rogers, all those shows, you know, from the 70s. When I was a kid, my dad, my dad would buy me comic books uh, at the local convenience store off the spinner rack. They were 25 cents, so I remember when Captain Marvel was male. Um... They rebooted Battlestar in 2003 or 2005, and I really wasn't sure about Katie Sackhoff. But at a press conference, she said, I'm Starbuck, get over it. Now, you might want, you might, you might apply that same uh, thinking to Brie Larson, but, uh, you know, I, I gave Battlestar Galactica a chance, and uh, Katie Sackhoff was uh, awesome. You know, she didn't do anything except be a good actress and, uh, and, um, you know, play the character that I have fond memories of. She didn't try to inflict an ideology on me. And she also seems more real. I mean, if you compare her Twitter to Brie Larson's, um, you know, who do you like better? Um, my theory, you know, just take this with a grain of salt, is that real life is mimicking civil war. You know, it's a, it's a culture war. And, you know, with civil war, you couldn't defeat the Avengers, right? So what does a bad guy do? He convinces the the Avengers to defeat themselves, you know, all through trickery and deceit. America has the strongest military, so how how do you destroy America? You know, you can't. You you get Americans to destroy themselves. You know, you divide the country, and get one side to destroy the other side. The left to destroy the right. Men destroy women. You know, it, you know people segregate themselves into smaller and smaller groups. You know, we're not the divided states of America. We're the United States of America. So the point is, we need to bring everyone together. Because um, what they're doing is, you know, they're, the, the social justice um, agenda seems to be teaching people to hate each other and hate themselves for things they can't control, like their race. Uh, as for my family, um, I'm not planning them to take, I'm not planning to take them to uh, Captain Marvel. Um, just imagine this scenario. Picture a Trump supporter, you know, wearing his MAGA hat. He sits right next to me with his popcorn, you know, just sitting there eating his popcorn, being all conservative. And he has no idea what's going on on YouTube, right? And then picture behind him is, say, a radical feminist. And she can't believe he's, you know, blatantly displaying his racism by wearing the hat in public. So she starts throwing popcorn at him. You know, and he ignores her which makes her even more mad. So finally, she's triggered enough, you know, to, to dump her Pepsi on him. You know, he stands up, turns around, and then he gets clocked by a white knight in the friend zone. Suddenly, the whole theater goes Covington, and I'm then my family's in the middle of a gender riot. I mean, that's really unlikely. It's not likely to happen. But you could see it happening in this political atmosphere. So I'm going to keep my family and my male gaze at home. Um, I'll watch this movie when it comes out on Netflix. I've already seen the cred end credit scene. The immense polarization of this movie is just like symptomatic of cultural and media manipulation, trying to get us all to hate each other. You know, getting back to the movie itself, I hope it does well because uh, I care about the people who worked on it. Um, I don't want SJW stuff in my movies. I don't want people behind the scenes to be fired you know um, it's not fair for them to be suffering the backlash um, from the opinions of one person so if Brie Larson gets replaced that's purely going to be an economically driven decision more so than an ideological one I suspect um, in doing so it's also not misogyny or yeah, it's misogyny misogyny I can't remember but it's it's not hating. It's just it's just business. You know, lots of men have been replaced. Terrence Howard, Eric Bana, Edward Norton, Sam Elliott, Hugo Weaving. They weren't a good fit or they had other reasons. But it happens. And if Disney decides to replace her, it's not misogyny. It'll be equality because they'll be treating her like a man. And after doing this uh, piece, I'm like doing all this digital painting and working on all the details of the suit, I realized why they kept canceling her book. 
because it takes forever to draw this damn suit. Um, anyway, that's the that's what I meant to say. Um, let me see if I can make this go faster, just so we can just get through it, because I think that's enough to speak my piece and you know get my thoughts out there. You know, I I wouldn't have done the legs, you know, if I were to do this again. And I realized it wasn't hair. Her hair wasn't on fire. It was just glowing from sunlight. So, yeah, I had fun doing this. This was, you know, just a quick doodle. It's, I mean, you can see now that it's up close how sloppy it is. I spent, like, a couple hours on it, and then I went to go pick up my kids, and then, you know, a few more hours, and then dinner, and then, you know. I didn't have, like, one straight sitting working on this. And right now I'm just fast-forwarding through it. We're almost done. 85%. But the tricky part is, you know, you, you've got a Frankenstein together, you know, a person like this, because you've got her head from one shot with one lighting situation, then you've got to paint her body to match. But you don't know within two photos, like, how big her head is compared to the other photos, so you got to resize them together. Because I like to work on heads um, at a larger size to get more detail. Um... You know, I, I find this relaxing. I like, you know, copying and creating. But I think she would just be really awesome in this role. And uh, normally I would do this in Photoshop, but um, this program lets me record better. So that's why I'm using it. But those are my thoughts. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say. I think I think she would have been awesome in this role. So, there you go. Thanks. Thumbs or subs. You know how it works. This is my new channel. And I'm just going to play it by ear and see how it goes. All right. Have a good one, y'all.